Howdy everybody, David here. This is another product review. In this particular product review, we're going to be looking at a digital service by 13th Age called the 13th Age Monthly. And this is where every month, 13th Age will put out a PDF, a professionally done PDF. It looks just like all of the other core books and published adventures that they put out. They are beautifully done and they put these out once a month, usually towards the end of the month. The service will cost you, or the subscription will cost you $24.95. You'll get 12 PDFs between 8 and 15 pages, anywhere in between. And each PDF is something new injected into 13th Age. So the first, this is the first one that ever came out in January of 2015. And these are everything that has to do with the dragon riding mechanic for 13th Age. It is not touched on in the core book nor the second core book, 13 True Ways, and it is incorporated here in this PDF. Now, uh, I'm going to be doing these as individual tutorials. Well, not tutorials, but individual uh, reviews uh, because I do want to go over every single thing in each PDF to show you what is injected into the, the, you know, the already awesome 13th Age game. So if you don't want to get the $24.95 a year uh, subscription, you can purchase each one of these from the Pelgrain Press website at a low price of $2.95 per PDF. And uh, as an offer, if you purchase the entire year, you can go ahead and download all of 2015 for $24.95, and you'll get 12 PDFs. And you also get bonuses as well. You get to download all of the public, public uh, test or public play features that Ash Law does, and uh, it's, a, it's a really good deal. So Dragon Riding, this is by Rob Heinsu and Ash Law. Now, as you can see, it is in color and it looks just like something out of an official 13th Age book. Now, Dragon Riding, it is eight pages. And, you know, like I said, each one of these PDFs are going to range between eight and 15 pages. And Dragon Riding, this is a PDF on nothing but Dragon Riding. And the first section are Dragon Riding stories on how you can incorporate Dragon Riding into your game. You know, they they want you to present it in the champion tier of your adventures, meaning uh, level 5 and up. But, there, you know, there's no reason why you can't do it at level 1 if you want to. You just kind of have to modify everything down, and the PDF explains uh, how to do that. So right off the sec right off the bat, the first part of the PDF has a lot of dragon riding stories on you know different uh, icons, cities, and how to incorporate these uh, dragon riding adventures into your game. Now, the next section is the dragon riding mechanics, and these are like I said for the champion tier. So around level five, uh, you and your mount basically are going to be separate entities, and you'll get your actions. The, the dragon will get its actions, and it talks about everything from, you know, ha all the mechanics. These, they're all here, you know. Uh, all of the mechanics here, you're going to have to read that. We're not going to go over every single thing. But it also talks about, uh, in this PDF, if you are a smaller race, and if you want to ride a smaller dragon, then that you can be the halfling cavalier if you want to. So there's, you know, no rule against saying a halfling can't ride a dragon. So, yes, you can do that. Now, normally, when you are uh, injecting dragon riding into your game, uh, they also talk about, Rob and Ash talk about, have it something special. You know, have it to where it's not 100% part of your game all the time. It is something rare, and it is something that seldom happens in the Dragon Empire and in 13th Age. But... If you want to inject it into your game as as a full-time entity, then here are the rules on how to do that. And you're going to have a couple feats, dragon riding feats that are offered to you. They are champion uh, champion level tiered uh, feats, but as the PDF explains, you can take that down to first level if you want to. Uh, but you just have to adjust it. Now, what kind of dragons can you ride? Well, you can ride anything that's in the core book, 
in the 13th Age, 13 True Ways, Core Book 2, in the Bestiary, any dragon you want to ride, you could have that as a pet. And then it gives you uh, all of the ways to adjust the stats on the dragon. And it's really, actually, it's there's not a lot of adjusting uh, that is required. And once uh, you have the uh, the dragon riding feats, here's other special movement and engagement. It talks about opportunity attacks, using the movement with miniatures, healing your mount, uh, you know, all kinds of things. Uh, now, things that you can do as the rider, things that you can do as the dragon mount itself. Uh, it really goes into detail without being too technical, and I truly like that. Now, there's also, uh, as you incorporate the feats into the game, there's going to be rider control to where this is like a mastery mechanic. And the mastery mechanic is going to involve special maneuvers that both you and your dragon can perform together. So now, not only can you do stuff as yourself, the dragon can do stuff as you know, its own entity, but now you can use the mastery mechanic and do things that combine both you and the dragon to do special maneuvers. And that's the mastery mechanic. And it talks about the save DC, which, you know, the, the DC is going to depend on the, the level range. And like I said, they want you to be champion tier, which is level 5 to 7, but a DC 25. And then there's ways to modify it depending on the level of the dragon. So the DC is going to go up from a base of 25. But as you can see, they also add in the adventuring tier for levels 1 to 4 in case you want to inject this into your lower level game, which I really like that they do that. So here's all the different ability modifiers that you would add into your check because your check, your center check would be a d20 plus your level plus the dragon riding ability score. And here's the dragon, mod uh, dragon riding ability modifier depending on what color dragon that you have, whether it be a chromatic or a metallic, it gives you all the information. It's really good. Uh, it also mentions a little bit about the, the special dragons, like in the bestiary, it will have like a uh, section of black dragons, but there's also special dragons within, like the shadow dragon is a black dragon. You can even use them, the special dragons, but just use the base color for that particular dragon. And then here's more things on using the mastery, the mounted attack, mounted defense. These are all of your special masteries that you would get to use with that mastery skill. Uh, here's how you can incorporate horses, lizards, and other kinds of mounts here. And the last bits of the PDF are building battles advice. So at the beginning of the PDF, it gives you stories. At the end of the PDF, it gives you all kinds of battles. And then the meat of the, you know, everything else is all the mechanics. You know, if you want to incorporate this as a full-time feature in your game, here's the feats involved. It's a great, uh, it's a great PDF. It's eight pages. Uh, it has beautiful art. You can use this art. Uh, you can clip it out. Use this art in your 13th Age game, and uh, this is a good start for the 13th Age monthly. That's for sure. And and you get one of these every single month. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Feel free also to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until next time, happy gaming.